this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool drawing animation in Pixelmator Pro and Final Cut Pro 10. Now you're going to have to use Pixelmator Pro in order to create this really cool effect, and it only costs around $35, $40, so it's not super expensive, and it's basically an alternative to Photoshop, and with using this app, you'll be able to create this really, really cool like drawing paint animation in Final Cut. Okay, so as you can see, here are the two clips that I'll be using in order to create this effect. All you want to do is you want to head over to the first clip, so you want to go in between the first and the second clip. What you want to do is you want to go back one frame, so you want to go back one frame, I'm going to place a marker, and you're just going to create a freeze frame by clicking Option F. All you're doing is you're freezing the last frame of the first clip. So if I play the video, as you can see, there we go. The last frame of the first clip is just frozen, and all you're doing is you're just literally creating a freeze frame, so you will be freezing the last frame of the first clip and this is the clip that or the still image that we'll be using in order to create this really cool drawing animation so what you want to do next is you want to just export this still image so you want to make sure your playhead is on the actual freeze frame layer you want to head over here to the export icon you want to go over here to save current frame so make sure you're on save current frame and then you can obviously type in whatever you want we'll just type in frito bang um, freeze frame so you can obviously um, type in anything you want you can head over here to settings and change the export in this case we will change the export to or leave the export as a PNG image and all you're gonna do is click on next and you're just basically saving that still image and that is gonna be the still image that we'll be drawing on in order to create this really cool animation so you just want to create a freeze frame and you want to export that still frame and then we'll be importing that still frame into Pixelmator Pro so as you can see here is the still frame it's just a png image so we just have it saved onto our desktop now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just open pixelmator pro so i'm just going to open pixelmator pro i'm going to head over here to create an empty new document so just click on this and then what you want to do is you want to type in the resolution in this case we'll be doing 1920 by 1080 because that is the resolution of the actual video itself so you want to have change the height and the width and height to the resolution of the video you're working in so we're click on create all you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new project and then as you can see it's just going to open a blank canvas we'll go ahead and just move this window take the still frame place it inside place it into pixelmator pro click on this little arrow icon and all you're gonna do is you're just going to center the still image so as you can see there we go we just want to center the still image and it's going to lock in place so there we go we want to we just want to import the still frame into Pixelmator Pro and then in this app we will be drawing on it to create that really cool animation. So what you want to do is you want to head over here to the little paint icon and then you want to change the brush. I will put up on screen the different brushes that I like to use but in this case we'll be using a Voss brush. So it's going to click on Voss brush and then you can of course change the, the brush size and then we'll, we'll leave the brush as white so you can see you can change the colors and we'll just leave it as a white brush. Now all you're going to do is you're just going to paint in paint them as like individual frames so, so I'll show you what you mean uh, show you what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and just paint on Frito Bang so you're just gonna as you can see you're just basically drawing on him it's just gonna paint him obviously you can do whatever you want and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna export them as individual frames so if I click on command E I can export it as an individual frame I'll leave it as PNG I'm gonna name this one and then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and head over here and then do another animation so I'm gonna draw something like this so as you can see you're basically drawing it as like individual frames frames so I'm going to export this one name this two obviously I'm going to go a little quick you can zoom in uh, I'm just going to go a little quick just for the sake of the tutorial so you basically want to draw on the actual subject so as you can see I'm just going to draw on the subject and then just export it so command E we're going to name this three and then this one the next frame we'll just com completely finish the drawing animation and then we'll click on command E and we'll just label this four obviously take your time with this but I'm just going to do a really quick just for the sake of of the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit out of Final Cut. Now you can save it if you want. I'll just delete it because it's just a tutorial. But if you want, I would encourage you to title it and then just save it wherever you want. I'm not going to do that just because it's a tutorial. So so it'll basically just save into your downloads. It'll save as like individual frames and then you can import them in Final Cut. So as you can see, here are the individual frames. So here is frame number one, here is frame number two, here is frame number three, and then as you can see, here is frame number four. So it's basically constructing individual frames. So you're just drawing and painting on each individual frame, and then you're putting it into Final Cut into like a sequence, and that sequence is gonna kind of like simulate like you're actually drawing on it. So it's kind of like a stop motion effect, but there you go. As you can see, you're just basically taking that image, that still image, and then you're just creating separate frames, you're just kind of drawing on it, and I kind of create 
create this really cool stop motion. As you can see, here's frame four, here's frame three, here's frame two, and then here's frame one. And you, it's kind of like almost like a stop motion um, drawing animation. So now we're in Final Cut. And I'm just going to import the images by clicking Command I. So I'm just going to import the individual frames. So as you can see, here's one, two, three, four. Hold down Shift, and now we're just going to import these still images. So as you can see, here are the still images. As you, as you can see, obviously here are the ones that I did. But there we go. Here's frame one. Here's frame two. Here's frame three, and then here's frame four. So all you're going to do is you're just going to dis you're just going to delete the freeze frame layer. You're going to go in between the two clips, and you're just going to import the freeze the the drawing animations. All you're basically doing is you're just importing the drawing animations after the first clip. That's why you created the freeze frame. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it just freezes and there we go. There's a really cool drawing animation. Now in my case, what I did was I set the first frames to, 50, uh, to three frames. So click on the first three, control D three frames. And then I actually took the last one and I set it to control D 15 frames. That's just what I did. You can of course change it just the longer the, 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 longer the duration, the longer the effect is gonna last. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. As you can see, there you go. You have a really cool drawing animation. This one, all three of these last for three frames. And then the last one, Last for 15 frames so as you can see see basically here's the clip it freezes here's the first drawing animation here's the second one here's the third one and then here is the fourth one and then it just holds out and then goes into the second clip so you can see it's almost like a stop motion effect so if I play the video there we go there is a really cool drawing animation effect Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all the actual drawing animations and I'm just gonna create a compound clip. So I'll click on option G and we'll just call this your know, drawings. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna create a compound clip because what I wanna do is I wanna animate the scale of all the animations or all the photos just to make it just to give it a little more life and make it look a little more dynamic. Head to scale, place a keyframe on scale, then go to the end of the compound clip and then change it to, I don't know, something like we'll do one. We'll do 115%, well that is, that's, that's 1000, so it changes to 115, so we're just going to scale it to 115%. So as you can see, if I go to the beginning, it's scaled from 100, and it scales all the way up to 115%. All that does is it just makes the effect look a little bit more dynamic, and just gives it a little more life. So if I play the video, as you can see, there we go. That looks pretty cool but as you can see it's a little abrupt and then i'll show you a couple of different things you can do just to smooth out the animation and make it not look so abrupt so what you want to do is you want to add some minimal motion blur onto the actual animation all this on the, the the scale animation it probably won't make a huge difference or like a noticeable difference but anytime you're doing any kind of keyframing i would always encourage you to add some motion blur because it's just going to help smooth out the animation so as you can see there you go there is this really cool um, animation and it basically creates a drawing animation and then also zooms in but I will show you something else to make the transition a little more dynamic. Another thing you may want to do is you may want to add a flash transition. So I'm going to add an adjustment layer, control D six frames. The links will be down in the description below. I'm going to head over here to the color section. I'm going to add a color board. Now I'm going to go to the beginning, make sure I'm on exposure, place a keyframe. So I just added a color board and placed a keyframe. I'm going to go forward three frames. So one, two, three frames, place a marker, set the global to 90%. I'm going to take the highlights and change the highlights to 100%. Now I'm gonna go forward one, two, three frames. I'm gonna take the global to zero. I'm gonna take the highlights to zero. So as you can see, if I play kind of frame by frame, it simulates or creates this really cool flash transition. And now all you would do is you just place the flash transition, make sure you're in the middle of the transition where it's the brightest. I'm gonna place it at the beginning of the drawing animation. I'm gonna just press on Command C, copy and paste it. I'm gonna take the flash transition. I'm gonna place it at the end of the drawing animation. I just think adding a flash transition makes it a little more dynamic. But another thing you may want to consider, another thing you may want to do is before you do any of the, 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 the drawing animations, you may want to add like a paper texture overlay to make it look a little bit cooler. But I just want to show you just simply how to do this effect. You can of course add to it and make it a little bit cooler. I just want to show you kind of the bare basics of creating this really cool drawing animation. So if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It creates this really cool flash transition. And there you go. You have created a really cool drawing animation where it kind of draws on the subject and then creates a flash transition transition and zooms in and there you go this really cool 
about animation. So again, if I kind of go frame by frame, there is a flash transition. And then as you can see, it kind of draws on an individual frames. And as you can see, there we go. So it's just a really cool animation. So if I play it again, there you go. There is this really cool drawing animation. Obviously take your time, add to it, do different things. But this tutorial, I just wanna show you the kind of the very bare basics, just kind of the very the basics of how to create this transition. Now you can use all the concepts and things that I showed you in this video to make this effect a little even more dynamic and make it look really advanced. But I just wanna show you just basically, just the bare basics one-on-one -on -one class on how to create this really cool um, transition, this really cool effect. So as you can see here is the finished product or the video that I showed in the intro. As you can see, obviously this is a little bit more advanced. I put a lot more time into this edit. So as you can see, again, I'll do one more time. It's just basically individual frames. So every like three frames, it changes and there you go. That's how you create this really cool animation. So you basically just think of it as like individual frames. So obviously take your time and there you go. So this is obviously, you know, it's gonna look a lot better because I took my time with this uh, transition, but there you go. There is a really cool drawing animation in Final Cut. Now use these concepts to create much more advanced effects actually again i just want to show you the very basics of how to create this really cool transition anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 and apple motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button also be sure to check out my final cut pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from lastly make sure to check out my website where i sell final cut pro 10 plugins anyways i will see you in the next Next one. Peace.